Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Living below, below your means. I, I, I was going to say beyond your means for a second. <laughs> but living below your means. And actually the word beyond comes into it. Because what happens out here is people get in trouble because of they're living beyond their means. Now how are they doing that? One basic way is their credit cards. And trust me, I've been there. I've been there. I ain't going to act. What, it, let me, just as an aside, one of the reasons I, I'm really, I really talk about money management because I've gone through, I've gone through times where I didn't manage my money. I've gone through times where I lived beyond my means. Shoot, I, my credit, psh, I mean, I've had credit, I've had credit scores in the 500s. Now, it's in the 700s now, and I'm working to the 800s, but trust me, I had to build things back up. But I got when I look back at how I got there, I was living beyond my means. See, this is how people live beyond their means in this day and time. Two words, credit card. Credit card. Because I'm going to tell you, what, and you even have some so-called financial advisors. They'll say, oh, yeah, get a big credit card. Then get, uh, you know, and then get a little one to pay that and then pay that and all this slick stuff. You know, they got all this little slick stuff with it, right? They're like, oh, yeah, do that. And that's what a lot of people do. You know, they, they'll go in and buy all this stuff and they'll say, I'll just pay the credit card. And it might look good at first. It might look good. Yeah, you can get that house and, you know, of course, you got to pay, uh, you know, credit for that, you know, okay good credit for that car, but that's a normal thing. Usually people, you know, they'll buy their food with their credit cards, buy clothing. Like uh, I've said, I've worked retail. I worked in a a department store, and it's like you're paying like 20% on the credit cards. I never got one while I was there. (laughs) I never got the store credit card. As I said, that's crazy. Now, some people get slick and say, hey, just pay it right away, but still, it adds up. And see, that's what people do. They buy all this stuff. They live beyond their means. And one of the things they're trying to do is keep up with the Joneses. So, you know, they'll get a house and then they'll get extra for the house, you know, put it on credit, get some credit line or something like that, and then pay and then pay that. Now, it's possible. I mean, yeah, you can if you're really extremely disciplined, but what happens if something happens? Anything can throw that off. Anything can throw that off. And then think about why you're doing it anyway. Many people doing it to impress other people, you know. They got to have that nice clothing so they look like they got money. Have you noticed that? A lot of people do that, especially like a lot of people who are middle class, like strictly middle class. They want to look like they upper middle class or even like have some wealth. They trying to impress somebody, so they spend extra money that, you know, they really don't have with credit. And then if you really look at, you got some people, really all their uh, paycheck is going towards credit. Not income producing assets, but going towards paying credit, paying these credit lines and everything because they're living beyond their means. They're spending too much. Now, here's the thing I say. Live below your means. Live below your means. Ask yourself, do you really need... I'm going to tell you what. I remember this. uh, It was a gentleman. He was in Puerto Rico. I was visiting a friend of mine. Now, this guy, money-wise, is upper middle class, at least money-wise. He, this dude owned several houses. He had a boat. <laughs> he, I mean, he had land. But I never forget, like, he has a beach house now, big old beach house. But at the time, I remember because his daughter was a, a great friend of mine from college. And I never forget, I went down there and, you know, we went down to the beach area. It was this little uh, small town in uh, the southern part of Puerto Rico, La Paguera. And he had, he just had a trailer, he had a trailer in there. And, you know, we spent the night there. But I'd never forget what he said. He said, you know, what do I need to pay 250 for a water faucet for? <laughs> he could afford it. That was a big-ass boat he had. He could afford it. But he was like, why pay for that? Why pay that? I don't need that. I don't need that. Now, some people will say, well, what about the boat? Well, I mean, you still want to have some fun. 
But at the same, well, the thing I, I peeped about him was, even though he had all that money and everything, he didn't. He didn't. If you saw him, you would just think he was an ordinary guy. He didn't went wearing flashy clothes. The car he had was just a regular, regular car. And it was he was living. Even though he had all that, he. I mean, he would spend the money on property, but that's always important. Nothing wrong with that. But he lived below his means. Indeed, that's something I do now. People don't realize that I could be in a better place to live, like a like a more expensive that doubles like the rent. Like I just live in an ordinary uh, apartment right now, right now. And you know, oh, just real quick, I know some people say, "Yeah, oh, you ain't getting a house." Well, I don't want to get it in the area I'm in. That's another conversation. Um, probably move from here once my son graduates high school, but. The thing is, it's like, yes, I can afford something better. Yes, I could afford, I could afford like a major, like Mercedes car or something, high-end car, easily, easily. I wouldn't even lose sleep over it. Wouldn't, it wouldn't even bother my accounts. But I'm like, no, I can afford that. But why not just keep paying for this very inexpensive, modest car that runs very well? Why don't I, the place I live is very, it's still in a six-figure uh, zip code. So it's still a very good place to be. So I'm like, hmm, I'm saving all that money. I can put it away. In my last podcast, I talked about putting money away. I can put that away. I don't have the stress. And see, here's the thing. If anything happens, I'm good. Like when everything was happening financially with this COVID thing, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't notice anything. I honestly did. I actually made more money last year. Oh, man. I actually made more money last year. You know? Actually, the most amount of money I made in life. So I didn't notice anything. But one of the things is I'm still living well. I'm still living well. I have the option. But, see, I always live below my means. And even only, only uh, the only... The only like spending thing I I got issue with is shoes. I I know I'm I'm I, I'm a shoe ham. <laughs> I'm a shoe ham. But even then, uh, what people don't realize, I'll get a nice pair of shoes, but I'll find where I can get them inexpensively. So I I, I hit a lot of outlet stores. Uh, and remember that when I'm saying save some money. And uh, just real quick for those who watch my uh, listen to my last podcast, uh, find the outlet stores. You can. I can buy expensive looking stuff for like 50% off. So why I think I got all these polos, never pay full price for them. So anyway, live below your means, live below it. I mean, they ain't saying live totally frugal because you might not want to. Ain't a bad idea. And some people do that. Some people live minimalist or something, but whatever. Cause see, once you live below your means, well, it's two things. It's two things with that. One, If something happens, say, like with your job or something, you can handle the setback and pay for a little bit. It doesn't bother you because, one, you you, you still got savings to pay stuff. Or you could even go to a a less expensive job. That's, That's the thing. It's like you can handle that if you lose a job or something like that. But then, say, if you just want to cut back anyway. You know, you do have some people who... You know, they might be making a whole lot of money on a job, but they decide they want to do something else. You can handle the pay cut easily. That's the thing. So I want y'all to think about that. Live below your means. Like like I said, you don't have to be totally frugal or anything. It helps, but if that's not you, but, you know, ask yourself, do I really need to live in that extra spot? Do I really need that really expensive car? Like with the car thing, I don't really drive my car that much. And I drive it in a small area. Every now and then, if I'm going out of town or somewhere in a nearby city, yeah, I can drive it there, but I'm not, it's not like I'm doing that every day. So it's like, okay, so I don't really need that expensive thing. So it's like, okay, this is what I need. So I want you all to think about that. Live below your means. You know why? Because you're making that money. So let's go make that money. Oh.